Dozens of balloons released into the sky tonight to remember Antoine Rose on what would have been his 18th birthday. Good evening. The celebration of his life was held at Hawkins Village in Rankin, where he grew up. Organizers wanted tonight's event to stand for unity and bring the community together. David Heinfeld was there for tonight's event, and he joins us in the studio with the very latest. David. Susan and Ken, I talked to Antoine Rose's mother tonight. She tells me it's been incredibly difficult, but that seeing all the people come together made things better. However, she said when tonight's celebration was over, she knew she'd be headed back to a home without her son. There was a cake like any other birthday party, but it was for a young man who never made it to his birthday. A chance for his community, family, and others to come together where he grew up in Rankin to celebrate the life of Antoine Rose. A lot of anger and frustration, but a lot of happiness because there's a lot of people here that really cared about a young man that should be here. Rose was unarmed and shot and killed by an East Pittsburgh police officer as he ran away. His mother, Michelle, wasn't up to an on-camera interview tonight, but she wanted this celebration, the first annual Antoine Rose II Community Day. It was actually mom's idea. She wanted to celebrate her son and keep his memory alive, and then she also didn't want to be alone, you know, on his birthday, and it just kind of made it a little bit easier. There was a tribute table with Rose's picture he wrote his skateboard his guitar but it was also a place for kids to have fun with face painting a bouncy house and more items were donated backpacks given away to neighborhood children his mom tells me that would have made Antoine Rose happy finally the crowd gathered for a prayer happy birthday to you and sang happy birthday as his mom wiped away tears happy birthday And then a balloon release. Many in the crowd watched the balloon soar until they couldn't be seen anymore. Well, there were no protesters there tonight. Organizers specifically said they did not want that tonight. The officer charged with homicide in this case has a preliminary hearing coming up in two weeks.